All right, folks, this is Jim McBride, president of Network for Progress. I'm probably your Facebook friend, or I will be soon. And I wanted to do something before the election hit, which is a virtual door knock. Knock, knock. I guess you're home, so you're watching this video, so you are. And so what I wanted to do is make sure that I made the case in person via video why you need to vote for Barack Obama tomorrow. And this is how you're going to do it, or why you're going to do it. And you're going to tell your friends to do it if you haven't already. First of all, you go to networkforprogress.com, and I have a great blog post, if I say so myself, um, about why we should vote for Barack Obama. And spoiler alert, it's the economy, stupid. It's not just because uh, he is friends with women. <laughs> he uh, has also uh, done a great job getting us out of the Great Recession. Now, this is the quick overview uh, on NetworkForProgress.com uh, of why um, Barack Obama has really turned things around for us. First of all, let's remember that in all but three months of his presidency, he has not had a filibuster proof, which means that 60 votes in the Senate, a majority. So he hasn't been able to pass his entire economic agenda in the last three and a half years. So, the t and then we made the mistake of reelecting many Republicans in Congress in 2010, which has made it worse. So if you are not happy with the last two years of economic growth, well, blame Paul Ryan. So, who wants to cut your Medicare? Now, the, this is a list here of all the, the different economic and non-economic uh, policies that have been blocked by the Tea Party Congress. And if you look, scroll down a little bit, we talk about Mitt Romney. Now, Mitt Romney wants to double down on the policies of George W. Bush and the Tea Party Congress and basically give us Bush on steroids. And if you recall, George Bush ballooned the deficit um, from surpluses to uh, uh, major deficits again, over 500 billion before the economic crisis even happened because of the wars, because of the prescri prescription drug benefit, and the tax cuts on the rich. So I have a little bit about that right here and the fact that uh, a lot of the social policies that Romney supports is to the extreme of George Bush, um, including on immigration and Planned Parenthood. Now um, we have a, a link to more about that. Now let's take one example in specific about who's going to be Bush on steroids versus who's going to be a competent leader. This past week with Hurricane Sandy, what happened? Chris Christie, the governor of New Jersey, is one of the top surrogates for the Romney campaign. He is having a love fest right now with Barack Obama, as you probably saw on TV. And, and uh, Mike Bloomberg, the mayor of New York City, has now endorsed him for his support of, cl of climate change uh, legislation. And um, uh, how did uh, Mitt Romney respond? He ignored questions about whether he'd get rid of FEMA because he did say he'd get rid of FEMA when he was running in the Republican primary. So below that, is some good resources for you um, if you want to learn a little bit more about Barack Obama's record. Of course, there's what the heck Barack Obama has done so far. Com. Uh, we've got a video here. We've got on Obama's website. Obviously, there's some highlights, uh, and also um, the Democratic Party actually Facebook page is pretty good. And if you go to BarackObama.com/plans, uh, if you want to know what he's going to do in his next term, uh, you got some information there. Uh, there's some video here as well. WhyObamaNow.org uh, has a great video uh, that explains Obama's vision. And Obama has been, of course, endorsed by the New York Times, but it's actually a very eloquent endorsement that shows what the differences are between the candidates and the record. Uh, the New Yorker has a great endorsement. Daily Coast has 500 reasons why Obama is better than Romney. And Colin Powell, of course, has endorsed uh, Barack Obama in the last week. Now, now let's finally talk about the economy, stupid. Uh, to really examine the number one reason why we need to support Barack Obama, because um, we all know those other issues. The other issues are important, but in the end, people care about the economy, and the economy is the number one reason why people might not vote for Barack Obama, but would consider it if they knew more. First of all, there are five top reasons in terms of the economy. Number five. The deficit 
it went down 200 billion in the last year. Obama is reducing the deficit. This is the least talked about thing that I can think of. Romney is lying about an increase in the deficit. George Bush collapsed the economy and the deficit ballooned because people weren't paying taxes anymore because they didn't have jobs. So just keep in mind that not only is Barack Obama, uh, Barack Obama is actually redu is reduced the, it, uh, the level of government spending the, the sl to the slowest level of growth since Dwight Eisenhower. Let's see, 1.4% since he took over. Look at Ronnie Reagan, 8.7%. Why? Because he wanted to stimulate the economy during the, um, during the uh, bad economic times when he got into office. But Barack Obama, of course, is not allowed to do that. But Bill Clinton and, Bill, and Barack Obama actually had lower growth in government spending. So he's not a huge spender. And if you look at this graph, Look at what George Bush did to the economy. First of all, these are the deficits of Bush. This is the Clinton. And a, yeah, George Bush, 1.4% uh, tr $1 trillion dollar deficit, and we, it's going down. But it's hard for it to go down when your economy sucks. So keep in mind that we cannot cut the, our way out of this problem. The unemployment rate was 9.9%. Now it's 7.8%. So it, it has gone down under Obama. Yes, it's where it was when he first got into office. But also the economy was in a free fall then. So it went up to 9.9% 9, 9 within about six months. And now, and now it's, it's been decreased. What, and, and my special advisor has another comment. Well, I think you've you got to talk about the trajectory at that time. The yes, yes. We're losing 900,000 jobs. Well, we're going to get that. That's going to be the punchline. next. All right. So and, and if you, I, I pointed out Ronnie Reagan's 8.7% uh, increase in spending in his first term. If you go to uh, the Guardian's website, it shows you that if um, if, if a um, Obama increased government spending the way m many Republicans have done and during their uh, recessions, um, on average, the economy would ac actually have one over a million more jobs uh, in the public sector, and that would have reduced the. Uh, unemployment rate to 6.9 percent, but we've cut government jobs by 700,000, or pretty close to it, maybe 600,000. So we haven't had the benefit of any government spending to get us out of this recession. So that explains why we have over 7.9 uh, percent unemployment still. Now, here's a big whopper: the stock market has doubled in value in the in the last few years. Um, it bottomed out in March 2009 at 6,500, and now the Dow is up to over 13,000. So, folks, your parents and grandparents um, all have regained your 401ks and any other investments you had in the stock market. And the economy is almost back to where it was in 2008 uh, in terms of Wall Street. So Wall Street reform, I don't think it's been a problem. Look at GDP. Under fourth quarter of 2008, it was down 8.9 percent. It was losing 8.9 percent in one freaking qu quarter. It was going down 8.9 percent. Haven't seen that since the depression. You haven't seen that since the depression. That's my my advisor was helping here. Now it's growing. Now, as you can see, it it it, it kind of spiked and you know it's kind of been going along and it hasn't been like increasing that much. But keep in mind the Tea Party Congress, which came in in two, first quarter 2011, and yes, we're not growing at three or four percent, but at two percent, that's pretty good considering that half of Obama's economic pa package last year was rejected by the Congress. Um, the, all the spending the stimulus was rejected. So. Let's sum it up here. Obama is creating, overall right now, about one million more jobs a month than George Bush did in his last month in office. And all you have to do is look at the job growth graph. Minus 820,000 jobs a month. That was January 2009. Now, last month, we created 800 and 184,000 jobs in the private sector. So you can't really count government too much because the Republicans have redu reduced the amount of, uh, or forced us to reduce um, public sector uh, jobs. So if you look just private sector, 
we have bounced back in a hurry, started creating jobs in 2010, and we've had some steady growth ever since. If you want more, uh, don't cut government. Keep government at least at, at 2008 levels, and then you'll have lower unemployment in a hurry. So let's sum it up, uh, end, end up with a quick comparison here. If you look at Republicans versus Democrats in, in om almost even amount of, of leadership years in the last 50 years, the Democrats have created 42 million jobs, the Republicans only 24 million, and they're 28 years in office. The, the stock market has grown exponentially, 900% more than Republicans. The stock market has grown 11%. The GDP has grown by more. And income growth has grown by, by more under Democrats. So anybody saying that Mitt Romney can create jobs better than Barack Obama is wrong. And even if you have complaints about Barack Obama, remember Chris Rock. You know, if, if you don't like, if you don't like, if, if you're upset that Obama has not cured cancer in this economy yet, then that's not a reason to vote against him. Nobody wants, you shouldn't be voting for cancer, which is the Republicans. So, um, there's some, a couple other good pieces of information here, but that sums it up. Forward Progress is my Twitter account, FWD Progress, and I hope that's a pretty good summary, visually, of the five key reasons why we need to keep Barack Obama. And if you care about Don't Ask, Don't Tell being repealed, if you care about the nuclear weapons being uh, reduced uh, because uh, we actually have an ally in Russia um, uh, on, on peace in the world, if you care about any of those other issues, then obviously, you know, you're probably a supporter. But for anybody wavering because you don't understand where the jobs are, well, I think we've come a long way. So, um, and we could do much better if you elect Democrats to the Congress. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Congress is more complicated than most people understand. So please vote for Barack Obama tomorrow and tell your friends to do it because we need it. We need Barack Obama to be able to keep this us moving forward. So I hope that that helps you and uh, please uh, like this post on Facebook and share with your friends. Thanks.